Welcome to IBN, India Business News. For August week 4, 2024. IBN is a weekly business news capsule for various segments comprising business leaders, managers, researchers, scholars, business management students and teachers. IBN presents each week's important business events across various sectors in a sequential manner for convenient consumption of information. Advertising Research Consulting Sector EY is cutting ties with dozens of US public companies as audit clients as it works to reduce the rate of shortfalls in its work. This could threaten its standing as the largest auditor of US public companies by market share, 84 companies left EY since the start of 2023. Michael Lacey, a founder of the lucrative classified site Backpage.com, was sentenced Wednesday to five years in prison and fined $3 million for a single money laundering count in a case involving allegations of a years-long scheme to promote and profit from prostitution through classified ads. India has hit a new milestone of 334 billionaires in 2024, an increase of 75 from the previous year, as revealed by the Huru and India Rich List, as Gautam Ardani's family leads with 11.6 lakh crore rupees. Auto Sector Ola Consumer has reintroduced its ride-sharing feature on the Ola app after a four-year hiatus, marking a significant move in the competitive landscape against rivals Uber and Rapido, as per Money Control Report. Tata Motors Limited will source battery packs for its passenger electric vehicles from Octillion Power Systems, a major battery pack maker in China, ending the practice of buying them solely from group company Tata Autocomp Systems Limited. Aviation Sector The Directorate General of Civil Aviation has imposed a 90 lakh rupees fine on Tata Group-owned Air India for operating a flight with non-qualified pilots, apart from a fine of 6 lakh rupees and 3 lakh rupees on Air India's Director of Operations and Director of Training. Co-founder Rakesh Gengwal is likely to divest about 3.8% stake in Interglobe Aviation, parent of Indigo Airline, for about 7,100 crore rupees via bulk deals, which is part of Gengwal's long-term plan to gradually bring down his stake in India's largest airline, which he started with Rahul Bhatia in August 2006. Singapore Airlines has received approval from the Indian government for the foreign direct investment as part of the proposed merger of Vistara with Air India, a deal that will create one of the world's largest airline groups. Find the video useful? Like, share, and subscribe. Core An Ardani Group promoter entity sold a 2.8% stake in Ambuja Cement for 4,254 crore rupees to a cluster of buyers including SBI Life Insurance Company, the National Pension System Trust, Morgan Stanley Asia Singapore PT, and Norgas Bank. Gautam Ardani's joint venture encountered difficulties in acquiring land to rehouse residents of Mumbai's Dharavi slum, although they secured a $619 million redevelopment bid, as securing additional land for those not eligible for free homes remains challenging, resulting in delaying the ambitious project timeline. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited has secured an 11,000 crore rupees contract from Ardani Power Limited and its subsidiary, Mahan Energy Limited, for three supercritical thermal power projects, a deal that significantly advances India's power infrastructure, highlighting BHEL's crucial role in the sector. Ardani Power has incorporated a new subsidiary, Ardani Power Middle East Limited, in Abu Dhabi to invest in power and infrastructure sectors, which is entirely owned by Ardani Power, and has an authorized capital of US dollars 27,000. Ardani Ports and Special Economic Zones has set up a 2 million ton capacity cement grinding unit in Gunna and a propellant production facility at Shivari in Madhya Pradesh with a total investment of 3,500 crore rupees, in addition to a state-of-the-art propellant production facility at Shivari. Railtel Corporation of India, Satluj Jal Vidyat Nigam, National Hydroelectric Power Corporation, and Solar Energy Corporation of India Limited have been upgraded to Navratna status, as announced by the Finance Ministry's Department of Public Enterprises. Finance Sector Life Insurance Corp of India received a goods and services demand penalty order of 605.5 crore rupees for fiscal 2019 to 20 according to a regulatory filing by the leading life insurer to the stock exchanges. HDFC Bank has launched Giga Suite, which offers tailored financial services for India's gig workforce, estimated at 30 to 50 million, which includes featured solutions like savings and current accounts, debit and credit cards, health insurance from 20 rupees per day, flexible investment options, and customized asset products. 
HDFC Bank announced its plans to sell as much as 10,000 crore rupees of loan portfolios using a rare debt instrument, as it seeks to cut exposure to certain sectors amid challenges in raising deposits. Healthcare and Pharma Sector Zydus Life Sciences has announced that it will acquire a 50% stake in Sterling Biotech from Perfect Day Incorporated, marking a joint venture between the two companies to focus on the production of animal-free protein products through fermentation technology. MediAssist Healthcare Services acquired Paramount Health Services and Insurance TPA from Fairfax Asia and Dr. Nayan Shah and family for an enterprise value of 311.8 crore rupees, an acquisition which is one of the largest TPA deals in India. Hyderabad-based Bharat Biotech Limited launched oral cholera vaccine Hilchol, made in collaboration with Hilleman Laboratories, the University of Gothenburg and Gotovax AB. Find the video useful? Like, share, and subscribe. Media Entertainment Sector Competition Commission of India approves Reliance-owned Viacom 18 and Disney's $8.5 billion merger deal, forming India's largest media network. Retail Sector Joyaluckers, one of the leading jewelers, announced its plans to open 60 new stores in next three years largely outside southern states. The move is aimed to increase revenue from non-South states to 25% from 15%. The Hanyo Ice Creams has announced that it has raised $25 million from private equity firm Faring Capital to bolster Hanyo's growth across India, as the funding underscores the strong growth trajectory and market potential of Hanyo Ice Creams. Swiggy investor Baron Capital has valued Swiggy at $14.76 billion as of June, compared with $15.1 billion three months prior, as the Bengaluru-based firm is in the middle of a $1.25 billion IPO process. Food delivery platform Zomato has unveiled a new feature allowing customers to schedule their food orders up to two days in advance, which is a service currently available in several major Indian cities, marking a significant enhancement to the company's offerings. Tomato introduces Book Now, Sell Anytime, allowing users to buy event tickets in advance and resell them if plans change, wherein sellers receive full value, and measures are in place to prevent misuse. Omitob Bachchan's family office picked up a minor stake in Swiggy through purchase of shares from the company's employees and early investors. Zomato has introduced a new feature called Zomato for Enterprise, designed to facilitate business-related orders by corporate employees, which promises to simplify company food expense management, aiming to ease the reimbursement process offered by corporates. Just two months after raising a pre-IPO funding round of $665 million, quick commerce startup Zepto has secured follow-on financing of $340 million led by US-based venture capital firm General Catalyst, taking its valuation to $5 billion. The Delhi High Court has asked the center to clarify its stand following a petition against the misbranding of Patanjali Divya Dant Manjan according to which the toothpaste had been tagged as a vegetarian product despite containing fish extract. Find the video useful? Like, share, and subscribe. Startup Mortgage lending platform Loan Kuba has raised $3.5 million in a pre Series B funding round, mix of both equity and debt, which was led by Singapore based venture capital firm TRTL Ventures and existing investor Inflection Point Ventures. Fabrication Bazaar, a manufacturing technology startup, has successfully raised $3 million in a pre-series of funding round led by Physis Capital, as this capital will be used to improve their tech platform, broaden their market reach, hire key leadership roles, and expand operations into new regions beyond India. Minimalist, a skincare startup, failed to raise capital from investors including Verlinvest and Premji Invest after seeking a fourfold jump in valuation. Wazer X announced that its crypto operating entity, Zetai, filed an application with the High Court of Singapore for a moratorium under Section 64 of the Insolvency, Restructuring and Dissolution Act 2018. Fintech Major Patem has received an approval from the Finance Ministry to invest in its payment services business. Tech Sector Cognizant subsidiary Tri Zeto has slapped a lawsuit on Infosys in a US federal court accusing the Bengaluru headquartered company of stealing trade secrets and information related to healthcare insurance software. Infosys, in a statement, denied all allegations. 
Telegram CEO Pavel Durov arrested at French airport at an airport, north of Paris, who has since been placed under formal investigation over suspected complicity in allowing illicit transactions, drug trafficking, fraud and the spread of child sex abuse images to flourish on his site. The Tata Group plans to hire 4,000 women technicians from Uttarakhand for its component manufacturing and assembly facilities in Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. This recruitment initiative will be carried out through the National Apprenticeship Training Scheme and the National Apprenticeship Promotion Scheme. Tech giant Apple is anticipated to significantly expand its workforce in the Indian market, potentially generating around 600,000 jobs by the conclusion of the fiscal year. Yelp, one of Google's rivals, has filed a lawsuit against Google in federal court in San Francisco, alleging that Google has illegally abused its monopoly in general search to dominate the local search and local search advertising markets. Find the video useful? Like, share, and subscribe. See you next week. Till then. Stay curious, stay informed.